So here we have the Toyota CHR automatic on a 68 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Start off inside the boots and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. Okay, so as we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the right-hand side, we have the speedometer and fuel gauge. And on the left-hand side, we have the gauge that will show us whether the uh, batteries are charging, whether we're using eco mode or the power band for the car. In the middle, you can see the total miles. They are 10,407. The information above that can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel. So at the moment, there's a digital readout for the speedometer, but there are various different bits of uh, kind of trip computer and car information available. Uh, by using buttons on the steering wheel, you'll go around in a full circle back to the beginning again. And those buttons are just here. We've also got cruise control over here, lane departure warning system and um, speed limiter as well. And on the left-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after such time as you've paired the phone up. And that is done over in the center area just here. Uh, hit the phone button down the bottom corner and then pair your phone from there. We're on the music menu at the moment, so you can see that this car has got AM, FM and DAB radio, as well as auxiliary input, Bluetooth audio, iPod input, and also USB input, so you can plug in a memory stick, for example, with music on it that way. So plenty of ways to listen to your music. If I pop the car into reverse, you'll see that we have a full colour reversing camera with guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image that you see on the screen. Working our way down from that, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures, the fan speed up and down. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed. When you're happy with those settings, that button turns the air conditioning on or off. It's on at the moment, so off or back on again. Or you can hit auto and the car will now maintain those temperatures by taking control of the fan speed and the direction of the air to do so. And to override that, you can just readjust the fans at any point in time you wish to and put it back on whatever setting you want it on just here. Underneath that, we have the auxiliary and USB input underneath uh, this little catch just here. So you can plug in your iPod, uh, uh, your memory stick or an auxiliary device there. We have a cup holder, the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox, electronic handbrake. This turns off traction control. This turns on or off the auto hold function for the uh, electronic handbrake. And this, if the car's charged enough, will force the car into EV mode, so the electric mode, basically. And you can see that I've turned that on. It says so just in the center here. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.